Alright guys, and welcome back to more of Celsetta. Now, off camera, as I was returning back from the dungeon, I actually picked up a few uh, items that I had missed on the way in. It was only a few different items. I actually picked up a uh, some armor. It was some pretty good armor that he really needs. It, it was scale armor. It was scale DX armor plus two. I actually found this, so it's a good thing I didn't buy it. And he gets a big boost in defense, and Adol really needed it more than Durin. So it's a really good thing that we found that armor, so he doesn't get like Adol was getting hit for so much damage, it wasn't even funny. But now he's got that. We should also give him the obtain SP when walking scarf, which increases willpower. Nice. We also got the power ring too. So you know what, shield ring, we can get rid of that for the courage scarf nice look at that it's actually going up it goes up even when I'm rolling good stuff so that courage scarf is really good especially if you want to grind out your skills to power them up which I probably will once I get done recording East Salsata for today so what we need to do now we defeated the the enemy the, the them spiders we defeated the spiders bounty. I'm, get, I'm, go, I'm going to call them bounty hunts from now because it just seems so right to call them bounty hunts. Yep, 3,000 gal. Yeah. Swarm of Black. We completed all the quests so far for this town. I'm guessing later they'll start asking for more quests or they'll start requesting more quests and whatnot. I don't know about tickling. You had enough for today. You can't be greedy. The tickle is an art. It loses its oomph if you overindulge. <laughs> Coming back. <laughs> Go back another day. Oh no, run away. Run away from the tickle girl. So send you to jail. For no reason. You may not intend to, but you'll go to jail. Alright, but anyway, back to the world map and what we need to do. Nothing, nothing will beat this world map music for a long time. <laughs> I think this is like the best world map music I heard in a long time. So, uh, this is what we're gonna do: pull up the map. No, we're gonna bring up the big, big map. And what we need to do is actually mark the great this tree. That's where we need to go next, the Great Forest. So we need to actually backtrack all the way back to it. Because the path I took was to complete the the side quest that we've done. Or it was going to take... That path we took last time took us to a completely optional area of the uh, map. It's something we didn't need to do. Alright, so here, let's do this. Oh, that's a combo right there. The swallow kick into uh, the dunk. Mm, perfect distance for it too, so that's perfect. Swallow kick into that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, that's a crazy combo. Yo man, Steven Seagal slash Regal Bryant slash Durin. <laughs> like this man too strong right now. Durin is too strong. Take this! This is rare. Indestructible shell is rare, huh? Ooh, paralyzed them. We can't surface, can we? Off the waterfall? Nope. I'm thinking maybe we can climb up waterfalls later. Mm. Uh, uh. So good. Dude, the combat in this game is just too fun. And then of course it gets overlooked by every other generic overdone game. Like, you know, this game is really good so far. I like it. We don't need to rest. Look at the map. Oh, well, look at this. There's a house up here. Someone lives in the damn forest. So there's an optional area we need to go back to. We probably need to dive under some water. Because there was a couple of places where we needed to dive anyway. 
Mm, let's just go to the Forest of Dawn stream. I'm sure we need to backtrack here anyway. Oh, welcome back. Uh, 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 uh. So that move looks so dope. It's so crazy cool looking. Man, we gotta hit up a shop after this, dude. Thunder Beast Charm. Wow, man, I just love the exploration aspect of this game. Like, you can just explore for days, dude. Now, if this was on console, it would be twice the size, probably times 10 of what you could actually do. It's insane. Prevents paralysis. Um, I think I might want to exchange Power Ring for that, because paralysis is very annoying. Especially for, like, Asbel or Adol. It prevents a lot of his, uh, his mobility. He's known for, I guess he's really mobile. He's really balanced, I guess. And if he can't, if he can't run and guard and dodge, if he's being slowed down by, uh, paralysis, it kind of sucks. It kind of ruins his character. God damn, how dare you throw a damn rock at me, you damn monkey. Oh, throwing dirt at me, bro? Uh, that's what you get. Mm -mm. What are you doing? Ooh, did you see that counter hit? Did you see that counter hit? You thought this was a game? It's not a game. Get your monkey ass out of here. It's not a game. Oh, he, he slugged me. I didn't even look. I was trying to open the map. He slugged me. Hmm. We gotta get to the damn, uh... We gotta get to the, uh... The tree on the world map. I don't know how to get to it. There's gotta be a path you have to take here, though. Alright, guys. What's going on? Um, so what I pretty much did, um... I still haven't found out where I needed to go yet, but I came back to the city to hand in one last, um, one of the last quests, the iron ore. We have a lot of iron ore that we need to hand in, so let's get to it. Maybe there might be some new quests here too, so, since we're here. So he wants... 20 chunks of iron ore, which we should have. And since we're here, let's talk to some of the locals. I don't think I ever talked to a lot of the locals. When I was first playing this game, I pretty much just skipped a lot of that stuff. What the hell is going on? If you decide you want to have some fun, you know where to find me. Whoa, if you really want it, I'd be alright with both of you at the same time. Whoa! Dude, you see... You see that this game wants to send you to jail. Hardcore. Pay 100 gold. Today's scoop is about Commander Leo of the Celsetian Army. He's actually still single. He's had a bunch of arranged marriage interviews, but none of them worked out. Hard to blame anyone for passing up a guy like him, though, huh? This is hilarious. Like, so many people around. Dude. Everybody in the city wants to, like, literally send you to jail. Can we go this way yet? Let's go talk to General Gr Griselda. Maybe she'll give us a hint on where to go. She should be in the top building, right? General Government Building. Here's your ex exploration of the Great Forest is progressing smoothly, but you found something significant, I trust. May I ask for details? Well, how did you wor work that out? We haven't even said a word yet. I suppose you can call it a lucky hunch. Would you be willing to share your findings with me? You need only tell me whatever you're comfortable with. Well, Commander Leo's already gotten that far, too. Telling her we found a village shouldn't cause any problems. Adolf told Governor General Griselda that they had discovered a village on the bank of the river. Interesting. That's a significant find indeed. While I would like to know about it in more detail, the mere discovery that such a place exists is quite a development. Since my expectations in you were not misplaced, I'll be eagerly awaiting your next report. 
Where's my reward, damn it? Report map progress. You made exceptional progress to have filled this much space in such a short amount of time. Here's the reward for your effort thus far. A thousand gold. Three thousand gold. Five thousand gold. I bid you farewell for now, but I will be eagerly awaiting your next report. So it's a good thing we came back and talked to her. Alright, so I think that's all she's going to give us. It appears you have not made significant progress since you last gave me a report. Could I ask you to come again when you have made more progress? Of course. We about to get even more money. So it's a good thing we made this stock because we just stocked up on some more gold. I keep calling it Gal. So used to tells. She didn't give us any kind of hint on what to do. She just said fill out the map and he told us to go to the great tree. I don't know how to get to the great tree. It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to get to. Yeah, we need to come in here anyway. So before I spend my money here, let me save my game. Oh yeah, we also need to hand in the iron ore. Oh, so you come about the iron ore. Looks like the goods are genuine. Well then, I'll purchase you had 20 pieces of iron ore for 5,000 gold. Oh, you can haggle? Sell them for 5,000 gold or haggle. Let's haggle. Let's see how far we can go. I just saved it too, so just in case we somehow fail it, we'll load again to see how far we can go. You're quite the negotiator. I'm impressed. 5,500. Haggle further. You're quite the tough customer. And not a bit more. Haggle even further. Hadn't expected you to keep pushing this far. You got it. Ways to go before you can call yourself a true merchant. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid to have to purchase my iron elsewhere. Negotiation is a give and take enterprise. You can't just take and expect to come out on top. I failed. I failed. That's stupid. That's why I just saved the game so I can load it again. Dun, 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 dun. Going back in time, going back in time to haggle the price. <laughs> Alright, so we know that the highest he goes is 62. No! I didn't want to do that! I didn't want to do that! God damn it, I didn't want to do that. So let me reload the game again. I was just tapping the X button like an idiot. So Iron Ore, we gotta haggle with him, not... Well, I can hold the circle button. Nice, the circle button skips everything. Haggle further. Haggle even further. That's the deal then. Handing over 20 Iron Ore for that money, yeah. It's been a quite a while since I've gotten so excited during the transaction. Truly a pleasure doing business with you. I'd love to deal with you again. That's wonderful. Nice. <laughs> Look at that money. We banking, dog. We banking, dog. We're gonna get some gold chains on our neck. We're gonna get all the fly honeys. So, okay, so that's all we had to run back here and do. And buying anything here is just kind of pointless since a lot of the equipment is just weaker equipment. So, what we need to do is find a way to get to this great tree. And as soon as I find a way or find a path to get there, I will I will uh, let you guys know. I guess I'll just save the game real quick. Uh, and I'll start my search. And once I get to the path of where I need to go... I will let you guys know. It looks like we need to take... We got to swim there is what I'm guessing. 
Cause look at this. Looks like there's only a few paths to get there, and we need to swim there. So you know what? This is what I'll do. We gotta take this to uh, the beast plains, right? I'll go to the beast plains. If it takes too long, like I said, I'll just edit out a lot of the stuff. I'll just edit out a lot. If it takes too long. But I swear, I swear to you, we need to swim there. So what we're gonna do is actually... Wetlands. Do, 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 do. We gotta go around the great tree. Misty Peak. I think that's what I messed up on. Like, I literally skipped this area. I didn't even explore it that much. Look at that. We can go to the right, which I had not... I didn't know you can go to the right. What am I? Wow. I had no clue you can go to the right. So that didn't take long at all. I just had to explore a little bit where I was already exploring and look at the map carefully. He said the area around the great tree, so here it is. The area around the great tree. I kind of set myself up for that. <laughs> I set myself up for that. Now we're in the forest labyrinth. Oh no, this guy's still lost. I think it's, it's the same as the last puzzle where we have to go where the flowers were, right? Damn it, back again. I just want to get out of here before those two explorers do. So I guess, like I said, like we gotta look for the one with the flowers. I don't see any flowers though. Here we go. Aren't they the same people we just met two episodes, three, four episodes ago? Hey, Rabbit. There must be some kind of trick here, just like there was on Misty Peak. Maybe it has something to do with the flowers blossoming here and there. Like I said, like we figured that out on ourselves, like from the previous path. Flowers, who cares about flowers? Look, if you got something to say, just say it. Well, at this rate, this is just going to be what happened at the peak all over again. We need to stop and think things through for a while. No. What? Come on, why not? I was right after all, if you just listen to me. Let's make this perfectly clear, okay? I'm the leader of this party. That means I'm the one who makes all the decisions. And I'm the one whose opinions always get first priority. And I'm the one who gets new equipment first. And I'm the one who gets to start eating first. And you're the one who gets to prepare the food. Oh my god. Um, do we have an understanding? What a bitch! It's 100 million billion squillion years too early for you to be questioning my opinion. Oh my god. Is that even a number? This is getting us nowhere. Are they still at it? Don't they ever get tired of bickering? Oh well, let's just make sure we don't get dragged into it. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Maybe it has something to do with the flowers blossoming, blossoming here and there. Oh, never mind. Forget it. Well, you got a problem? Too bad, because you got no right to complain. Wow, she needs to listen. She needs to listen! Hey, listen! She needs Navi. So, you see that? There's no other flowers. So, I was right. It's just like the other path, but that, the other path didn't have hittable flowers. It had, uh, it had other flowers, but it, they weren't, uh, they weren't material deposits. No flower over here. Looking over here, looking over there. Hey, look the flower over here. Looking over here, looking over there. Rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got nothing to do but to roll on the ground. <laughs> Must keep on rolling on the ground. Oh, look at this! We found water! 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 Oh, I'm so thirsty right now! <laughs> I was so thirsty. Mama, I was so thirsty. Hey, look at this, another flower. 
Oh, I think we've... What the? This... Oh my god! Enemies! Fire consume my enemies! Lambda burst! Ugh. Phoenix kick is lambda burst! <laughs> Yo! Sega... Or Atlas! Atlas! What they need to do is bring back Skies of Arcadia! Skies of Arcadia is probably another one of my favorite RPGs! The exploration aspect... The damn, uh, the pirate aspect, everything was just so cool about that game. Look at that, we got out the damn, uh, forest. The presence of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The area is still in tranquil. Ah, a nice place to set up temp. I said temp. Set up camp. I don't know why I said temp. Set up a tent. All right. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored. Supposedly, a kingdom flourished in this forest about 800 years ago. The ruins people find all over Celsetta are somehow connected to it. What kind of kingdom was it, and what happened to it? I've been trying to find the answers to these questions by investigating every ruin I come across and reading up on all the old legends. Hmm, that was a random memory. Some dude with the harp. Some dude with the harp. Hey, looks like you remember something. What happened? I was talking to someone. There was a kingdom in this forest. A kingdom? That'd be one huge find. Wait a minute. You know those ruins the miners dug up in Kasnan? Those could be somehow related. All right. True. The trail's getting warmer, you know. At least we know we're making some progress here. Let's keep going. Nice. Memory fragments are now locatable. So let's look at the damn map. Oops, the other map. So this, Oh, look at this! Yes, we are, we are on the right trail, it looks like. Sweet. Hmm, we are on the trail, and a vash just popped up. Alright, so let's go over here. There's got to be a monument some, uh, somewhere nearby. It just has to be. I may have passed it up in that forest. In that labyrinth, I may have passed it up. Can we knock this over? Yes, push it. Push the fallen log so we can create a shortcut. Yes. Sweet. So now we have a damn shortcut to get to where we need to go. And we will most likely end up swimming to where we need to go, I'm guessing. Leave it to me, bro. Nice. Let's go get this memory and we'll call it a day. Hopefully if we can get it. Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! Alright. They stayed away. Oh, look at this. Where am I? Maps, books, and modules are scattered in disarray throughout a dimly lit room. Adol did not recognize a single one of them. I've been in this room once before. Very interesting. Base strength increase as he needs it. Oh, damn, I got a poison. I got the poison. Oh no, this isn't the very the good though. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm probably just gonna stand here until I recover all my health. I'm gonna save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more East Memories of Celsetta. So I will see you guys very soon.